Yo, what's good everybody? It's me, JT, and we are back today with another video, and today we're going to be going into a little bit of an unboxing and a review of the Pulse 3D wireless headset for PS4, PlayStation 5, and computers, basically. So, this is actually a very interesting headset. You know, I picked it up because I got my PlayStation 5 recently, and I've been wanting to experience a new form of audio. You know, I've been wanting to hear a little bit of an in-depth game sound. You know, I've been wanting to improve a little bit on hearing certain characters in certain games like for example warzone which is a game that i heavily play now that i've got a playstation 5 and everything and i sort of wanted to go out and try and see what sony had to offer for their price point if you guys and gals didn't know this new headset is a hundred dollars just flat out a hundred dollars and it is delivering a lot of promises you know with the ideal of 3d audio and just the overall sony experience i decided to go out do an unboxing and a review here on the channel and you know while i might have written it down on a piece of paper these are all my own thoughts and own words sony did not endorse this personally i spent my own money on this product so i'm gonna go out and give you all the best review that i possibly can First off, the box sports the iconic blue and white design alongside the traditional square, triangle, and circle pattern, while featuring a strong side view of this very simplistic black and white headset. The side view of this box displays the main concept of the headset, and that is its fine-tuned 3D audio that is geared towards the PlayStation 5 consoles, with the other side viewing the headset's compatibility with other devices. On this side of the box, the headset can be shown to be used with the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, PSVR, and even mentions that it's compatible with Windows and Mac computers alongside many mobile devices that sport a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. The back of the box is simple but gives a detailed description of the capabilities of this headset. The headset holds two dual hidden microphones, a built-in rechargeable battery that lasts up for 12 hours, easy access controls that are built into the headset itself, and the box also includes a 3.2 millimeter jack that has a cord also packed into the box, and finally the wireless audio adapter is included. Unboxing this headset is fairly simple just pull the flap and there we go the first thing we're met with is the instruction guide for the headset nobody really cares about those things so let's just put that to the side next up is the folded box including the pulse 3d wireless adapter it's small light and will fit into just about any usb slot on a computer or console something else that's included is a usb type c cable for charging this can also be used for the playstation 5 dualsense controller for those looking for an extra charger and finally we have reached the pulse 3d headset itself the headset is very light in the hands, which is something that surprised me. The ear covering is made of a very professional grade foam that has no problem reforming when pressed on. The headset is also very flexible when pulled outwards and has a black headrest inside of it so it can be adjusted for big or small heads as well. The side buttons are located on the left side of the headset and there are various buttons for muting, monitoring, and a game and chat switch for those console party players. Finally, the headset sports a power button and an audio plus and minus button while leaving some room on the left headphone for that USB Type-C charging port as well. Overall, I'm astonished by how simplistic this design is and I'm happy to see that it pairs well with the PlayStation 5 itself too. Sporting an elastic black and white design, there's honestly not that much of a need to get a display rack for the headset, seeing as you could just put it on top of the console vertically and have a simple yet effective headset stand that blends in with the console environment. The build quality is what you would expect from Sony, not cheap and no corners cut. The headset is very elastic when pulled apart and it holds its form very well when on my head. The Ear coverings are very soft on my ears, but it can definitely be too big for those with smaller ears. Mine are a bit on the big side, so I had little to no worries about that whatsoever. In all, the headset looks nice and it feels nice, but how does it perform when delivering on the promise of 3D audio? Well, let's dive more into that. If you want me to be short and simple, the headset has a very good amount of audio quality but it definitely doesn't have that bass that reverberates and it's something that you can feel in your ears as you play your favorite game. This can be a pro or a con to some, but for me personally, I like to see this as a pro. This headset is built for experiencing the sound of games in multiple ways, literally allowing you to adjust your profile sound to something that is more fit for you in the PlayStation 5 settings with many different options. I look at this headset and I see that it's a PlayStation 5's beginner headset, something you'd give a teenager or even an adult that wanted to sink their foot into hearing games at a competitive or even immersive level. While the headset doesn't deliver on providing a rumbling bass feeling, it definitely delivers on providing clean and surround sound audio to those who really want to hear it, and I think that right there is alone worth the price of $100. The 3D audio for me took some time getting used to. I played a game that relies heavily off of audio footprints and sounds, and that's Warzone. 
zone. Surprisingly, there was a lot I was able to detect just by listening to the 3D audio. Footsteps were clear and concise, and I was able to hear a train off in the distance, and when I heard it for the first time, I glanced over to the side of that train, almost as if it was me actually trying to realistically find where the source of the sound was coming from. I was genuinely surprised that the headset could deliver on that feeling and that experience. The headset also connects via a wireless dongle and can be plugged into pretty much anything as long as the device has the audio drivers and USB port to support this kind of headset. But if you're not a fan of wireless audio, there's also a 3.5mm jack and cord that comes packaged in with you for all you cord lovers out there. But honestly, that's all I really have to say about the whole 3D Pulse headset, you know? This is a really good headset and I think for $100 it's really worth the buy. If you're looking for something that's very entry level and something that's very plug and play, this is probably one of the best headsets that you could get for a specific mapping for your PlayStation 5. This works alongside again the PlayStation 4, PSVR, and on your mobile phones and your computers, but you can only use the 3D audio if you connect it to your PlayStation 5 console and set up your sound profile. So make sure to be weary of that if you're looking for a 3D audio experience. But overall, what do you guys and gals think of the Pulse 3D headset? Have you had it yourself or are you looking into buying it? Have you done a demo of it or do you think that 3D audio is not as important in society today? I would love to hear your thoughts on this unboxing and review in the comments down below. Thank you guys and gals for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Hit that like and the subscribe button and peace out.